morning, students. I'm looking forward to this week as we're playing one of our rivals uh, here at home, San Mateo High School in football. I am glad that many of you want to come out and support our team and be part of the high school experience. But really, especially for our freshmen and sophomores, when you come to the game, we want you to be part of the celebration of this community coming together. Rooting for the players on the field, cheering for the band, cheering and rooting for the cheerleaders. That is the experience. We do not want students milling around in the back and not being part of it. We saw this at the last game, and really that's kind of younger and younger child behavior, and we need to change that. We're one community. We're here to support our teams. So when you're coming to a game, understand that the school policies and rules, this is really a school activity, and we want you to be part of it. So focus on that when you come. If you make that decision on coming to the game, that you're going to be part of it and be part of the positive celebration of the athletic event. For all of us, let's work hard. Let's be kind to one another. Have a great day. And now, here is Mr. Boyson. Good morning, Half Moon Bay High School Cougars. It's Mr. Boyson, Assistant Principal. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'm recording from home this morning because <laughs> I didn't get it done. So I'm just meeting the deadline for Mr. Olson. So I just want to touch on a few things, just some of the basics that I've talked about over the last year. Um, it's, you know, start, we're restarting school. It's unfamiliar to many of you who have, have never been in the high, up at the high school. And just the idea of us going back to, you know, our structured in-person learning. So please reach out to your counselors, um, your teachers, your family members, support groups, um, systems, you know, your friends, things like that, administrators. So if you have any you know, social emotional concerns or stressors or things like that where you need support, please reach out to people on campus and we're here for here to support you. Also academically, uh, we have the first progress report coming up in uh, about two weeks. And so it's really important you pay attention to what's going on with your academics. Please monitor School Loop on a regular basis several times a day through the weekend as well, just to make sure that you're on top of things. With the Google Suite, I really encourage you to use the Google Calendar so you can go ahead and map out your due dates and see where things are and how they're going to develop and also um, um, just be organized and um, as well. Um, I think that's about it. Just uh, make sure that uh, you reach out to your advisory teacher for support and use the PASS system so you can travel to other teachers so they can make up quizzes and tests go ahead and um, just get the kind of support, extra tutoring, extra clarification, extra explanation of things. And please try to be proactive with your education, that you reach out and take charge of it. And if you're having difficulties, please, again, reach out to your counselors, to your teachers, administrators, your family, friends, things like that. So really kind of collaborate with trying to make things successful. And as, um, as, as, as positive for your well-being and your your emotional state of mind as possible. So you take care, everyone, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Hey, Cougars, before we get you back to your fifth period class, a quick announcement. Today is the very first hour of kindness. Now, the hour of kindness is a time where students can relax and reflect on what they are thankful for. The hour of kindness will take place today in front of the library during the lunch hour. There will be chalk drawing and music. So we hope to see you today for the Hour of Kindness at lunch right in front of the library. Have a great Tuesday, everybody.